current member of the Canadian national team. Um, and also in her younger days, she played for the Peninsula Minor Hockey all the way up to her second year Bantam. She's a 1997 birth year, uh, 23 years old, and thanks for coming on with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Great. So do you want to share anything else about yourself? Um, and you can introduce yourself. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think you covered most of it. Um, yeah, grew up in Victoria, played boys up until midget, uh, moved away, uh, attended the Okanagan Hockey Academy for three years, um, then got the opportunity to go to school from from there. Um, then I'm graduating, currently graduating right now, though it's a little different than normal. Um, and then next year I'll be moving to Calgary, Alberta to train um, with the national team uh, and hopefully continue to be on that roster. Uh, and then I'll be a member of the Professional Women's Hockey Players Association, um, which uh, is kind of a training platform. Um, we've got about 200 girls in it um, and we're uh, kind of attempting to, to build a more sustainable league for, for women's hockey moving forward. Uh, so we train together in different hubs across Canada and the United States. And then we get together for uh, what we call the dream gap tour, which is exhibition weekends uh, in different cities. And we're just trying to, to grow the women's game and, and uh, get it out there and get young girls inspired to play. So that's awesome. Um, so with those 200 players, like that's in the off season, of course, no, that, that is our season. So okay. There's, okay. yeah, so there's the, Landscape of women's hockey right now, we used to have two professional leagues. One was primarily Canadian-based, the Canadian Women's Hockey League, and one was primarily American-based, the National Women's Hockey League. Um, both leagues, though they were called professional, players weren't really getting paid. It was more of just uh, a title uh, more than anything. So the CWHL ended up folding, um, and... At that moment, the Canadian women's national team and the American women's national team kind of got together, uh, which was cool because that doesn't always happen. And um, we just kind of sat down and we're like, we got to do something better for our sport. We deserve to have a, an actual professional league where um, we have, you know, full-time coaches, trainers, facilities, practice times, games, that sort of thing. Um, so we got together and formed this Professional Women's Hockey Players Association. And, um, yeah, so you have 200 of the, the top players in the world and hopefully the plan is in the next few years, we'll, we'll have something in place where we do have a professional league that would have a regular season and we'd have teams on different cities, um, with potentially the NHL backing us, uh, or, or different investors. We're, we're unsure of that at the moment. Yeah. Is that being worked on right now? Because I remember maybe even like six months ago, they were talking about all that and how the NHL would back you guys. Um, I don't know what it's at now, but. Yeah, it's still, it's definitely still in the planning stages. Uh, the tough thing with our sport is that it revolves around the Olympics. So our female hockey players are in these four year cycles uh, where you're, you know, three years of, maybe playing in a professional league or some sort of league and getting together with your national team four or five times a year. And then you have one year, the Olympic year where you're training full time with your national team right. leading up to February. Right. Um, so in terms of putting a league in place, you kind of have to work around those Olympic years because you know that in an Olympic year, your top hundred players are going to be in their respective countries training for the Olympics. So, the timing of when a league will be put in place is kind of, kind of surrounding uh, that timeline. So. Yeah. Wow. That's saying, that sounds, uh, you know, a lot different than the men's side for sure. Yeah. Uh, it, would you be able to relate to anything else? Is it kind of similar to like what college would be like where you guys all train together and for the full year? Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, realistically uh, what, I mean, college for female hockey players is professional as professional as it gets at this current time, unless you're playing on your national team. But as I said, your national team is only getting together four or five times a year. So um, the hope would be that a professional league would be more like college where we actually have an arena and a locker room and practice at a reasonable hour. Um, right now I would say, you know, I'm a graduating college player and most of my older mentors that I look up to are kind of looking at me like, okay, 
welcome to our world. Like you've come out of four years where you've been treated as a professional almost, and you're coming into something that it looks a lot different. So oh, yeah, it's uh, I mean with so it's probably different uh, for for women's hockey, but for my own experience and route that I t- took, how cr- unbelievable it is to play college hockey NCAA, even at Quinnipiac University. But I, we played in the Ivies against Cornell, Colgate, Yale, Princeton, Harvard, all those schools. Um, we played non-conference as well. But just how you're treated, um, you feel like a pro because when you go to the East Coast or the AHL, um, as much as you, there are different teams that treat you really well as well. It's just depending which team um, and what organization you're with, but it's way different. And you have everything um, at college. Uh, I would think most programs, I would say at least 80% of men's programs, at least. I don't know much about the women's, but I know Quinnipiac, they treated the girls as well, uh, the women's team really well as, as well. And, um, just all the money uh, within the university and college that they have to, to invest in the teams and all the sports, it just changed a lot rather than just the pro team that has the you know, kind of the one business there. But Yeah. Yeah. There's something special too about, and like I'm sure you feel similar as being surrounded by, you know, 24 other people for four years and, you know, no one's in a stage in their life where they have a family or they have something else in their life. You're literally going to school, playing hockey, and you're all living together and you never really have that experience again uh, after that. 